Hey YouTube, I'm going to try and give you a good bang for your buck here this morning. You can see in my lathe, okay, I have my cam shaft. Oops, sorry about that, I forgot to tighten the handle. I have the uh, crank, or the cam shaft rather, from the uh, engine I'm working on. So what I want to do is I want to measure the lift. Now I could measure the journal this way, but I'm not positive that the uh, um, I'm not positive that the lathe is perfect on its centers. So it's not going to matter on the camshaft here because what you're actually doing is you're measuring the difference here. So let's just, what we want to do is turn until we get the lowest number and we'll set that at zero which is going to be right there. So we set that at zero. Okay. And then we just go ahead and we go one, two, and wherever the highest number is here, that's your maximum lift. Okay, so right about, <coughs> right about there, I hope you can see that. That would be the lift on that lobe. Now I have them, I've already done this yesterday, and I went from one to 16, you know, trying to find everything that I needed to find and where the exhaust valves and intake valves were uh, riding on the lobe, which lobe was which, because it uh, they have a different lift. But anyway, I've gone ahead and checked all of them, and I put them in an Excel spreadsheet, but that's one way of doing it. You could also do it in a V-block, if you were to take the two ends of the cam and have yourself a V-block that doesn't move side to side, you could put something on there, I'm sure put a V block in there and you can measure the journals but I've measured these journals with a micrometer in the X and Y plane so as far as I'm concerned this uh, camshaft is also not up to service or up to the production specs so I'm not going to use that alright so that's that now we'll take a run over here to where I have the crank beautiful day today uh, March, I don't know what the date is, but nice day today. I'm in mean, a t-shirt actually. Okay, so let me take the camera off of here. Alright, so what we got here is you can see that I have already put the plastic gauge on the crank. I took this crank and cleaned it up this morning and then I went and uh, set it in. It's dry. I mean it's totally dry. There's nothing, no water, there's no oil under the bearings, over the bearings, whatever. I put the bearings in. You can see the bearings are in there, okay? And all I did was put the caps on. I set the caps on top, tightened them down to the spec, which for this engine is um, uh, 80 pounds, or 80 foot-pounds on the uh, torque wrench. So if you look there, you can see it's that second red line and I, you, I know you probably can't see the numbers but the second red line is four thousandths so the first one, the second one, the third one was four thousandths the fourth one here ended up being even worse at six thousandths okay, you can tell by how narrow I don't know if you can see that, yeah you can see the, how narrow the plastic gauge is and then here, this last one, let's just check this out here. So that last one's same thing, we're at uh, six thousandths. So all of these are too big, the clearance is too big for the engine. And if we look here in my book, uh, main bearing caps, well, that's the torque. Let's go back to the main bearing clearance. Main bearing clearance production. You're looking at somewhere between uh, eight ten thousandths and two thousandths. So we're way over that. Uh, Seventeen ten thousandths to thirty two ten thousandths. We're over that in every one of these. And the service limits. We're actually over all of them. So this crank is junk and unusable but 
you could probably get it ground. I'm not going to do that because I've tried getting machinists to do stuff and be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of honest machinists out there that, are, that really know their stuff. I mean, there's some, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying everybody, but the guys that I've used are, you know, hayseeds for all intents and purposes. Alright, so guys, that's where I'm at so far. I showed you how to measure the loads on the cam. That cam is junk. This uh, crank is junk as far as the engine goes, you know, to rebuild it. So I'm going to get rid of those. I'm not going to fool around with them anymore. My, the next step that I have to work on is the bores. I want to check the bores in every direction that I can. And if the bores are good, then I'm going to go ahead and work on uh, restoring this engine and putting it back together and rebuilding it. And then you'll get to see how uh, particular I can really be. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.